Hey Keepers, today we're going to check out how I break in and stretch my leather cleats. There are a few different methods that you can use to break in your leather cleats. You can wait uh, for a rainy day and go out and play in the rain. You can actually go and take a shower with the cleats, but I use a very easy method. I just get a bowl of warm or hot water and I dunk each cleat into the water. I want to get as much water on these cleats and want to make sure that the cleats get as much water as possible absorbed into the leather and into the sole of the cleat. I want to make sure that the cleat is not nice and heavy and full of water. Before you start dunking in your cleats, you want to make sure that your laces are tightened up as much as possible. I personally like to go half a size small when I'm buying leather cleats because it makes it fit perfectly to my foot and then I know that the cleat is actually going to stretch just a little bit more to fit the size of my foot. If you're a young goalkeeper and your foot is still growing, I don't recommend buying smaller cleats because you will outgrow the cleats a lot quicker. Once you finish completely soaking both cleats, you want to dry them off and then bring them out to the soccer field. I use the cleats and I wear the cleats as long as I possibly can. If you can, wear them until the actual cleat begins to dry out. This is going to make it so that the leather, which just finished taking all the water and stretching out, it's going to stretch out from the water absorption, but once it starts to actually lose its water and it starts to sweat it all out and you start to push it all out, the leather starts to constrict and it's going to actually form a much tighter hold around your foot and it's going to fit the curvature of your feet a lot better. This is why I like to get uh, leather cleats so much because they fit your cleat and you can get them with a nice custom fit, especially if you do this style of breaking. But the most important thing that comes down to breaking in these cleats is wearing them as much as possible to break them in as soon as possible. So if I can't go out to the field and I have wet my cleats, what I like to do is just walk around the house with my cleats laced on. I try to keep my cleats on as much as possible within the first few days to make sure that I'm used to the cleats and that the cleats are slowly starting to break in and give away to fit my feet better. And once you finish up your session with your cleats, you're going to notice that the inside is very humid. What I like to do to battle this is either use newspaper or nice dry socks to one, dry out the inside of the cleats and two, hold the shape that I've been working on. By keeping the socks pushed up all the way to the toes and lacing the cleats up, it's still going to break in as if it were holding the shape of my feet. I want to make sure that the cleats remember as much as possible the size and shape of my feet so once it starts to harden or once the leather starts to harden, it hardens up in the shape that I use uh, for my actual feet. Hey Keepers, thank you for watching my How to Break In Leather Cleats video. If you liked it, please click like. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. If you're wondering when your cleats are going to be broken in or how you will know, you'll notice when your feet don't cramp up as much. Your feet will cramp up on a new unbroken in cleat because it's very rigid. So make sure to break in these cleats to stop your feet from actually cramping up. Thank you guys again, and I'll see you guys again next week.